Hey, I am back. Oh, I am way behind on videos. I apologize for the delay. <clears throat> I went on vacation for the holidays with my family. Had an awesome time. It's really great. Came home. Had some minor plumbing issues with the sink that was rotting out. Um, just like my old cars, my house is old also. So, a lot of work to do there, but I think we're back on track. Um, Happy New Year for those of you that still believe that a new year starts in the middle of winter. Don't even get me started. All right, here's what we got. I ordered a coolant line kit and should have everything we need. Heater hoses, upper radiator hose, lower, upper, I don't remember, upper or lower, whichever. Um, the Funky T um, style, the, the website says this is the original style, which is different than what's on there, so I don't know if that's been replaced before or what, um, with the original style hose clamps, all new. Got some grommets for the firewall so we can seal that thing up properly because those are getting pretty crusty. New thermostat, thermostat housing gasket, cigarette lighter, um, a new plastic grommet for the throttle linkage uh, piece. That one is toast. And then a new holder for our hood prop rod because that thing is just bouncing around in there even though we haven't driven the car yet. It's bouncing around. So we're gonna dig into this thing and we're gonna try to get this, uh, the coolant lines fixed up and, uh, and good to go on that. Possibly address that one freeze plug that had a minor leak. I don't know if I can fix that little leak temporarily or I don't have the freeze plug at this time. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how far we get here. Um, before I do that, I uh, just want to say thank you again for everybody that watches the videos. And I have no plans of stopping this. I have a pretty decent size line of cars to do after this one. Uh, I've been collecting for years, uh, which my friends have not really been able to understand. And I didn't either. And now it makes sense. YouTube videos. Perfect. Um, so my plans for this year are to keep going, uh, keep doing progress videos on this car. After we get the coolant lines and everything, engine 100%, move on to the transmission, the clutch. I'm, I'm sure the master cylinder on that is toast. Um, and get the car drivable. And then go to brakes, get those mechanically sound and then finally start doing some major cleanup on this paint and the interior i am excited to, to get to that step that's one of my favorite things about uh cleaning up old cars is seeing how much the old paint comes back and how good they can look after sitting for so long um but yeah so my goal for this year for 24 I would really like to do 24 videos this year, at least, at a minimum. So that's two videos a month. So we'll see. We'll see how close to that goal we get. But uh, for now, let's dig into this and see how it goes. So if you're looking to drain your radiator on one of these cars, it looks like right down here on the passenger side at the bottom of the radiator, is a pet cock you can open up and drain that thing out so we'll give her a shot All right, we got the radiator drained. When you're done with that, make sure you close that pet cock back up because what's going to happen is 
when you're done with your work and you go to refill the radiator, you're going to lose it all out the bottom. Don't ask me how I know. I'm going to start with this side, with this lower hose and this T hose, and uh, get the hard part out of the way. Probably should get a light. That's better. All right. Let's get this thing off of here. See how much water coolant is still in it. Oh yeah, it's stuck on. Oh yeah. All right. Hmm, what's the best way to do this? There we go. There we go. Oh, that's a little gunky. All right. Check that out. Very nice. Is that supposed to be like that? Hmm. Oh, man. Can you see inside that thing? Not really. There is hardly any room for coolant to get through there. Yikes. Oh, man. Look at this. Wow. Impressive. Oh, we got an issue. We have a slight issue. Let me see if I can uh, show you what's going on here. Look at the water pump. Hmm. Completely blocked off. Wow. All right. Well, let's see if we can get that cleaned out. Probably should just replace the water pump right now, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna chance it. See how far we get. Break down on the side of the road. Then we'll fix it. Yep. That's a plan. That's nasty. <clears throat> Definitely gonna flush this thing out. That's wild. Wild. That's why it was running a little hot. Couldn't get it to circulate. That's why right there. Oh, man. There she goes. That thing was 100% blocked off. We had no water, no coolant flow through there at all. Wow.
That is impressive. Well, like I said, we'll flush all of these lines out for sure. And the radiator. And uh, make it better. All right. I'm going to flush this radiator out and see how that goes for us. Hmm. Wow. See those chunks of junk coming out of there? Hmm. <clears throat> that looks pretty clear now. No more chunks coming out. Water looks clean. That might be good for now. All right, well, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and remove this, pull this off, pull the thermostat out so I can flush the engine. I've seen some dirty radiators and, and stuff before, but man, I've never seen anything like that. That's pretty crazy. Wonder what this thermostat looks like now. Oh man, that one is crusty. Water neck doesn't look too bad, but it does have some gunk in it. All right, let's pop that off, see what it looks like.
Oh yeah. Yep. Good call to replace this. Mm hmm. I mean, it's not awful, but it's not great, for sure. That's what's in there. Mm-hmm. Yep. <clears throat> well, I think I'll probably... Try to shop back as much as I can of that out of there instead of pushing it down into the engine. Mm hmm. Let's do that. Is this where the. That's where the water temp sensor should go, right? Hmm. Right in my eyeballs. Got it right in my eyeballs. Right in there. I guess this isn't horrendous. Could definitely be worse. Could also be better. <clears throat> See, this is how you repurpose stuff. This is the old radiator hose with a mouse or rat bite out of it. So you just stick that in the end of your shop back hose, which is too big to go in here. This fits perfectly. Well, I must say I'm pretty happy with that. All right, I'm going to run some water through there. See what it does. Oh, yeah. Opened it right up. It's flowing now. What happens if I do this?
catching a exactly maybe an eighth of the water in the bucket. So that's perfect. Oh man, that cleaned up pretty nice. Well, now what? Keep going. Perfect. Did it get you? Got me right in the face. You know, when you drop your, your hose on the ground and it lands with a handle of the nozzle first and just comes right back at you. It's a great way to stay cool. I think we're pretty well flushed out, guys. Hmm? Feel like it anyway. So, hmm. All right. Now this. What are we going to do with this? Put it back in. This is not, I'm confident this is not how it was from factory. There's a bolt right here that comes into this housing or this piece of the block. And I'm sure that's for the water temp sending unit. I don't know. This one never registered on the water temp gauge when we ran it before. I don't know. I don't remember if this hose was hot, but I'm going to take this off. I'm going to get a cup of hot water, and I'm going to test it. It's bad. It's bad. Really wanted to reuse it. But then I wonder why they didn't put this in here. They had what they had, and the threads were different. I don't know. Let's find out. Or not. Maybe not. Oh, yeah. That is good and tight. Mama Sita. It's too tight, man. Hmm. Well. There we go. There we go. Nope. Still nope. Right. Yep. All right. What would cause a mechanical water temp gauge like this to go bad? What would cause that? You tell me. This is a <laughs> this is an iron plumbing T. It's threaded inside. And they just went ahead and pulled it out of the house and put her in the car. Nice. Alright guys. Got my scalding hot water here in my coffee cup that says wifey. Mm-hmm. Let's see if I can break this. Let's see. 
that works. That does not work. Hmm. Bummer. That's a bummer. Why? Why doesn't it work? All right. Well, have to get us a new one. That's a bummer. All right. I'm going to pop these caps off that I had put on when the heater hose is blue and then see what we can flush out of there Here's the old stuff that we took out. And here's the new stuff going in. All right, I'm going to start with these hoses to the heater core. First, so let's see here. That should go like that. When I do these, this is just my personal preference. It doesn't really matter. I'm sure you you all know this, but when I put these clamps on, I kind of like to put the screws in a direction where I can reach them easily. And also, if possible, keep them to the bottom and hidden. I just think it gives a better, cleaner look if you just see the top of the strap instead of the whole bolt on top of the hose itself kind of keeps the hardware hidden and out of the way. Just my preference. Make sure I get these right. This should go here. And that should go there. I believe. Let me check my pictures. Make sure I'm getting this right. 
Yep. That's correct. So... This will go... Right down in there. Go ahead and lose that. Oh boy. Here we go. All right. We'll try again. This will go down to here. So, we'll take this. And jam it on there. Well, need some lubrication in the situation. There we go. There we go. There it is. Now we need to trim this one a little bit. Get that about right there. Let's give ourselves a little bit of slack. Let's go right there. Okay, very nice. All right, very nice. That's weird. Things a little bit taller than it should be, it seems like. Maybe I should put this piece on first. Putting these out in the front so I can get to them versus the back. Make it a lot easier if it needs to come back off. Uh, I ain't really planned on this being a lot easier than this. That's why this one. It's all wonky like this. That's why. Oh, it's close. Got it started. Whew. Man, that doesn't seem very good for that hose. But, that's what we got. All right. Tighten her up. Oh. Nice. Right on. Okay. One eighty thermostat, which was what was in it when I pulled it out. I checked it, and it was the same one. So that's good. So. There's that.
I'm going to go ahead and trim that a little bit just so it's not kinked so tight. Take about a half inch off. Not going to hook that water temp gauge up. Obviously, it doesn't work. And I'm not a fan of that piece being here. If I do get another new one, I'll just see if I can tap it in down here. So, get rid of that. All right. Very nice. I like it. That freeze plug, <clears throat> I checked it out a little closer, and it had a tiny pinhole in the center of it. And it was so small, I could not even get this pick through it. And I checked it. It was pretty strong everywhere else. Like it wasn't rotting out and falling apart into a bigger hole than it was. So I jammed it full of this. Pack some of that in the hole and around it. And I'm just going to see how long that holds up. And I'll get some freeze plugs on order so I have them in case I need to replace them. But right now, I don't want to pull that thing out, run to the parts store. They don't have the right size freeze plug, and then I can't do anything with the car until I get an order in. So, <clears throat> and I've had horrible luck finding any parts for this engine at the local parts house. So I have to order everything. So I'm going to let this sit overnight. Fill it with coolant tomorrow, and we'll see how she does. Okay. I've got all the coolant lines replaced on this rig. And fixed my little freeze plug issue. Sort of. Kind of. So, I'm going to put some coolant in it and see if she holds. Well, guys, we did it. Got all the coolant lines replaced on this car and started it up, ran it up to temp. Still seems like it's getting a little warm, but there's probably air in the system. I think I put the radiator cap on a little too soon. Should have burped it a little more. But I'm going to let it cool overnight, check it tomorrow, add coolant if needed, and try it again. Um, so, yeah. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys prefer more shorter videos or less longer videos. Um, let me know what you think. Originally, I was trying to keep the videos down to 30 minutes, so they're not too long but not too short. Um, but my last one ended up being an hour and a half. So let me know what you prefer, um, and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you're on Facebook, I do have a Facebook page, Newt's Nostalgia. Also on Instagram, same name, 
if you want to follow along there. I'm going to try to post pictures and stuff as we go along, just show a little bit more of what's coming up in the next video and or things that I don't really show in the video maybe. Um, yeah, and if you like the videos and you want to subscribe, that would help me out tremendously. That would be awesome. Thanks, guys, for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.